Hey everyone, welcome to Positron Plays Monster Sanctuary. This is a Metroidvania slash monster gathering Pokemon style game. Uh, it came from uh, developer Moirai, might be pronouncing that wrong, my apologies, and published by Team17. Uh, this was recommended to me a, a bunch actually, it was in early access for a while and I never really had a chance to play it, but now it's on the full release, just came out, I think like last week. Um, yeah, a lot of people recommended this to me, so I think we're going to uh, play through it. I'll start a new game here. I, I played, you know, maybe, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes to make sure that things were in order. Uh, I like blue better. I don't I don't know if these are supposed to be male and female, but I kind of like the blue. Uh, we will name ourselves, of course. I'm not really good at monster names, so we'll see how many of those end up as default, much to the chagrin of some people I know. Um, and <laughs> we'll go from there. Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. Oh yeah? Well, while monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Look at those cute little blobs. Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. A little dancing mushroom there. Call themselves monster keepers. Alright, that makes sense. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. Alright. Uh, I would typically go with... Like an earth or grass type. Uh, I say this from my experience of playing the first Pokemon and nothing else. However, I think I'm going to go with the wolf. One, because I think it looks the coolest. It matches my clothes. I do kind of like ice attacks, and I'm guessing it's water and ice. And wind tends to be interesting as well. It's also curious, are there two of each on... There's two fires, two earth. Yeah, they would go with. They uh, would go with the wolf. And the rest of you don't match. How shameful! Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family passed on from one keeper to the next. Okay, so we've got our three main bosses, basically. Positron is just starting out. Become a monster keeper like your ancestors before. Okay, I guess it was male and female. That's fine. As with all starting monster keepers, journey begins on the keeper's trail. Bloodline's familiar bears the form of a spectral wolf. Name your familiar. I mean, let's let's go let's go cheesy here. I think I can rename these later. We'll find out. Monsters, are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Okay, so you're smug as heck too. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They'll grow alongside you just as I will, and they will fight for you. Best way to gain monsters' loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at that blob over there. It's rude, really. Oh, it's actually a blob. Initiate a fight by contact, but I shall see if you live up to your ancestors. Uh, also, as always, with the new series and stuff like that, give me some uh, feedback on audio and things like that. It was a little bit of a pain getting the, the audio balance here. All right, so we have turn-based combat. Uh, we don't need to choose monsters. We've only got one. So, we can do Claws, we can do an Ice Hail, we can do an Air Sickle. Uh, it looks like it's weak to air. Fancy. Uh, air Sickle costs 50 mana, it looks like. And we regenerate 45 mana per turn, it seems? That's a lot. Those are, those are big values to and fro. 
Alright, we won. Uh, we get... Let's see, bonus for combat duration, enemy difficulty, our remaining health, execution modifier. 40% chance for rare loot. And we got it. Probably guaranteed to get that one. Received blob egg, now I need to hatch. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Okay. Sure. And we got a blob. Uh, you will be named Blob. No, you know what? You'll be named Bob. You can be Bob the Blob. That is your first monster you hatched by yourself. Right now it's weak, so you'll need to train it. There's much more of you to learn, too. You and that blob are quite alike, excuse me. Let's continue on the Keeper's Trail. Lead us to old Baran, an old friend of mine. As a patient teacher to all young Keepers seek guidance, I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Alright, but you're gonna have to stop calling me Blob. You see we have many maps, pretty nice. Now we gonna fight both of these at once? Yes. Alright, so the Blob can do Arcane Bolt. Uh, there's also, so there's some options I was looking at. There's, uh, there's an alternative battle theme. Might play with that at some point. Uh, and there's also a battle ba ooh, battle speed modifier. Uh, later on, when we get further into the game, we might mess around with that a little bit too. Or might doing that during grinding sessions or things like that. Alright, let's kill off this first blob. Now we can heal as well. Do our monsters heal after combat? My guess is yes. My guess is that we always start full health. I kind of want to try these other abilities, but the air sickle is just so good. I'm sure we'll have plenty of opportunities to, to try it out. Gotcha. We get... Uh, a copper hammer? Oh, it's a copper upgrade material. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Bring a higher rating increases your chance of getting better drops, like rare monster eggs. Andy, can we get more than one of the same kind of monster? I wonder. Young Keeper, tis the Keeper's Trail's beginning? For all of man, beast, and sanctuary has beginning. Okay. I mean, everything has a beginning and an end. Alright, weird little caterpillar, a magma pillar, and a rocky. So I'm gonna guess that this one is weak to ice. Yeah, there we go. That, that, that animation reminds me of an ice spell from a different game, but I don't can't think off the top of my head what it is. Is it maybe the ice spell from like Secret of Mana? Alright, you are what are you weak to? You don't have a weakness. Oh, you're weak to fire. It's good that we have a physical attack as well. That, that hit pretty hard, actually. Let's throw a heal out there for safety. We heal for quite a lot. It is interesting that, like, everything hits multiple times. One. Got any eggs? We got a rocky egg. We got a level up on our wolf. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. Allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Spectral Flame Neutral Magic Damage. Uh, can we upgrade these as well? So Air Sickle Level 2, Attack Plus, Mana Symbiosis, Recover 5 Mana when Healed. Huh. Um, cooling Every Hit has a 10% chance to apply Chill. Monster loses 10% mana when applied, mana regeneration reduced by 20%. That seems extremely good. 
I assume that's just on this ability. Uh, Lifesteal. Heal 15%. Glory. This is critical chance by 10% and critical damage by 20%. That also seems super good. I wonder how many of these we can get. Like, can we get everything eventually? Or can we only ever increase, like, one tree? Uh, I think for now... Maybe we'll get this glory. Party buffs seem really good. Alright, uh, let's hatch our new egg. We got a Rocky. Yeah, we'll keep you named Rocky. It's a nice name. Oh, you also, you start at level 2. Maybe because I have a level 2? Uh, you have a punch combo. You have Leaf Smash, which is an earth attack. You have Spore. Applies weakness. Monster deal 20% less damage. I like that. A Leaf Slash can't be dodged. That's interesting. Uh, what's this other one? Restore. Oh, it's a healing spell. This one applies a buff to the whole party. Um, let's go with Spore. Now... Does the order of our team matter? Like, does it matter who's in front? I'm, I'm curious about that. I'm gonna guess no. Seems like we can target anything at any time. We got a Cestus. It's equipment. Sure. We have accessories now. Who are you? Hey, friend, you're destroying as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? Make your monsters stronger by equipping them. Got a kunai. Let's pick up a few things, then we'll equip them all at once. Can I... I can't get up there. Must need some sort of uh, ability to get up there. Hmm, curious. Whoops. Oh! He has, like, a, an ability that I can use. Hey, fellow keeper, you know every, mon every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability. Some can be used to give her certain obstacles. You might encounter some destructible walls like the one behind me. Go and try to hit it with some of your monsters' abilities. How about that? Get a vital ring. Uh, well, in that case, can I use... How do I determine... Oh, choose following monster. Oh, this guy makes a little rock. Oh, I bet I can use that to get up here. Seems like it needs to... Is this going to be high enough? It is. Oh, that's really nice. Got to hide. Uh, what do you do? Activates water orbs. Weird. Alright. Uh, we have some more equipment. You know what? I'm gonna equip, like, everything on this dude. Uh, Kunai gives more mana regen. You all start with a wooden stick. Nice. So these, this is all one combat, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll start combat. Alright, we got a whole bunch of stuff now. Oh, Glory is an actual extra active ability. I don't think I, I don't think I realized that. Yeah, we'll certainly do that. So everyone gets a higher crit chance. Let's see, we can do Spore. Oh, and the bird is weak to Spore. We gave him weakness. one of those crits landing there. They're gonna heal him. Featherstorm fortunately only hits one target. I'm afraid it might hit multiple. Alright. Uh, we can probably finish off... How long does glory last? I should check that. Do we know how long it lasts? I'm not sure. Uh, surely we can kill this bird. Very nice. I 
wonder how we get higher rankings, because so far we've only gotten three stars on everything. Probably just from from killing things significantly faster. Damn, that was a massive crit combo there. Very nice. We got four stars there. We got a vital ring, we got a Vero egg. And our slime leveled up, our blob. Bomb the blob. Uh, yeah, we'll use the egg. Should be the bird, right? Yeah, very nice. We got a Vero. Yeah, you can stay Vero. Let's see, blob. Bob has, we get acid rain. Applies armor break debuff, I like that. Yeah, bubble burst, arcane bolt two. Magic proc, every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 35% of magic value. That seems incredibly good. Can upgrade our heal. Slime shot applies poison. Skills with max health. Hmm. Kind of tempted to go with this this magic proc. Oh, Acid Rain would be really good, too. Ooh, and this unlocks Mana Upkeep, too. Yeah, let's go with this. And for Vero... Feather Storm... Uh, we have Air Sickle. Might. Might to the whole party. I like that. Sidekick. Each attack triggers an additional 4% damage hit. And that also seems really good. Every buff action applies one random buff. That seems... nuts? Does that apply to the whole party? So is the goal here we just stack a million buffs and debuffs? I kinda get behind that. Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. Got a bracelet. Uh, there's also a monster up there that just ran away. Interesting. What was that? Was that an accessory we got? Uh, defense plus 10, man regeneration plus 12. We have an extra vital ring. I didn't realize that. We might need... What is a very loud truck outside my window. You know what? We might need... I'm gonna guess you might need the bracelet to uh, continue buffing uh, enough. But look out. Keep your stronghold to the right, keep your trail to the left. Got a gauntlet. I should really look at what those actually are before I just close that window. Uh, more crit chance and defense. Absolutely. Alright, we got combat in here. Three birds. No problem. Alright, we'll buff everyone. You are weak to earth. Oh, acid rain does hit Multiple targets? No, okay. I thought it did. Um, does it matter what we use here? Probably not. We can give you the weakness. Oh, they're going to cast Might. Interesting. Oh, I can only have three monsters. I, that just occurred to me. So it's always a 3v3, I guess. Um, I really should have, in that case, swapped out. So who do we want for our three right now, I wonder? Well, honestly, probably replace Bob with Vero. At least for now. Whoa, look out. That's a lot of damage there. Uh, let's just get rid of this guy. Eh, 
have you heal yourself just to make sure that we don't lose anything here? Interesting that there's a, a combo timer or a combo thing ticking up there. Makes me wonder, like, are we sometimes better off just using things with more hits? Even if they're a little weaker? A walnut. A small potion. Uh, let's swap you for now. Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond, yet for the great treasures within he longed, for greed of kings was great. What do you do? Levitates the player. Hey, how about that? Oh, that's nice. I like that. Defense 10, mana 25. This seems incredibly useful. Alright. Absolutely start with the buff. Of course, if we're just buffing all the time, we're not doing a lot of damage. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Uh, yeah. So will everyone get extra buffs? Okay, it just does one extra buff. Doesn't cast on every single one. It's still good though. Although we can't heal, so I have to be a little careful. Which one's more dangerous? The Magma Pillar is probably a little more dangerous. Can we change the order we attack in as well? We can. Basically, I just wanted to get the weakness on him there. Damn buff on that thing is keeping its defense up pretty high. star there. Not great. But we got a couple level ups. Looks like uh, monsters that are not active also get experience too, which is nice. Got an orb. A morning star. Is that better? Less magic. Hmm. Probably don't want that on on him. I think you're all magic attack, so that would work out for you. Let's uh, check our skills here. Alright, so we have to be level 10 plus to get through there, so we can get a lot of these before we get there. Uh, do we want Claws level 2? Maybe. Uh, we could also go for... Cooling on Ice Hail. I think that might be the right way to go. For you... Okay, maybe Cleanse on this. We could also... Uh, Get a heal on Rocky. This also removes debuffs too. Let's do that. I 
Uh, we'll do one more combat, what the heck. Alright. Where do we want to go with this here? Sure, we'll buff the whole party. Someone will get one extra buff. I'm not quite sure what that one is. Maybe like a crit chance or something? And that's what glory is. Oh, it's the sidekick one. Oh, nice. Yeah, it does that extra damage. Uh, can we kill this guy this turn? We can't, unfortunately. So I think we'll just spread out the damage a little bit. We'll hold off. Hey, there we go. Now we can kill it. This damage is all fine. Finish off the blob, now we've just got the plant left. We got a rocky left. I'm sure in longer fights we'll have to reapply these buffs, but I do like how long they last. Ooh, we're actually running low on MP here. Using more than we're regenerating. Three star there, and get a vital ring. Two level ups. Uh, we'll equip that real quick. Here, we'll give it to you. And then for skills, let's see. Uh, sidekick is a is another buff. I mean, I kind of feel like so power is just. A better might? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get this. And then for Bob, uh Combo healing. Healing actions trigger an additional here on the monster with the lowest health. Oh, that seems pretty good actually. There's also that mana upkeep, yeah, that was the thing we wanted there. I thought maybe this might be a dead end, but I guess not. Man pleasures deepest abyss, forged, attacked, and slew. Those these endeavors were hard. We're without solace. Cost of humanity, nobody knew. Alright, well I think we'll pause here over to you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Always like a uh, feedback on new stuff, so let me know in the comments. Subscribe for more, I'll see you soon.